What is Occam's razor? Suppose there is a cookie missing from the cookie jar. Now we might want an explanation for this. A complete explanation might include both audio and video recordings of the scene at the time when the cookie was taken. But it would be even more complete if we had video from every possible perspective in the room. And while we're at it, we might as well add a seismometer to tell us how much the earth was vibrating at the time the cookie was taken, perhaps an oxygen meter to tell us how much oxygen was in the air, and a list of the names of all the Supreme Court justices currently serving at the time when the cookie was taken. Even if all that information is accurate, it's still not necessarily helpful. If we just wanted to identify the perpetrator, for example, we'd have to sift through all that data to find the relevant details. Clearly, the purpose of an explanation is not to represent everything that is real. A good explanation should be accurate, relevant, and succinct. This was observed by the philosopher Sir William of Ockham in the 1300s, and has become known as Ockham's Razor. Many people try to summarize him by saying the simplest explanation is usually the correct one. Other people try to undermine Occam's razor by observing that reality is always complex, thus the simplest explanation is never complete. There are two problems with this terrible argument. First, these people don't seem to understand what an explanation is. If an explanation captured everything, we'd need an explanation of the explanation. Second, that's not even what Sir William of Ockham wrote. What he actually wrote was something in Latin. The literal translation says, entities must not be multiplied beyond necessity. A modern translation of that might actually say, don't add useless crap to your explanations. And here's the emoji translation. There's no undermining that. It's good advice for everyone. Suppose Alice says, Bob stole the cookie from the cookie jar. That's an explanation. Occam's razor does absolutely nothing at all to tell us whether or not Alice's explanation is correct. Perhaps Chuck comes along and says Bob stole the cookie from the cookie jar because a little devil appeared on his shoulder and told him to do it. That extra detail was unnecessary. Occam's razor simply says, don't do that. Now, maybe Chuck might argue that he sincerely believes people only do bad things because the devil tells them to. That's fine. Occam's razor says absolutely nothing about what Chuck is allowed to believe. He can believe whatever he wants. But did Chuck really need to attach his beliefs to his explanation? Now, perhaps he sincerely thought people couldn't clearly understand the situation without that extra detail. This is why it's called a razor instead of a law. Sometimes what is necessary is debatable. And if there was a necessity, then actually Occam's razor permits that. So how can people with different beliefs even communicate effectively? Well, for starters, Chuck might clarify that he believes people only do bad things because the devil tempts them to. That extra clarity might spare Alice from making assumptions about where Chuck got his knowledge or how she needs to resolve this new information about the existence of supernatural beings with the other things that she knows. Sometimes adding a few extra words can actually make explanations a whole lot simpler, simply because confusion definitely spawns unnecessary complexity. So ultimately, there may be a lot of debate about what counts as necessary. But according to Sir William of Ockham, no one gets to use an explanation as some kind of soapbox for adding unnecessary complexity.